Revelation 452, from the 6th of June 1938. School. Consequences of disbelief. Miracles of strong faith. People's lot is unbearable when they remain in unbelief. Evil will await them on earth, and in the hereafter the soul remains in constant agony because it lacks the ray of light and the source of grace, and its fate is spiritual death. Compare the earth with an orderly school, which is ready to give everything in wisdom and whose pupils need only to take which they are commanded through teachings. The pupil however who stubbornly refuse acceptance of all teachings, shut himself rather stubbornly down and such humans leave this school as good as completely untaught and ignorant. So the following path of life will be able to offer him only little due to his ignorance. He will face everything completely poor in experience. His knowledge will not be sufficient to accommodate that world and its requirements. As completely unfit, he will not be able to do any work, but he will be receptive to all the vices of that world, and this will lead to his downfall. Therefore, consider the human soul, who refuses to accept the teaching from above, who also stubbornly rejects the word of God, does not collect spiritual knowledge and even less tries to give his spirit any beneficial nourishment. How is such a soul supposed to be able to find its way both here on earth as well as in the hereafter when it lacks all understanding? When everything is dark and empty inside and it also cannot carry out any spiritual activity in such a state, because deep darkness embraces such a soul. Then his life in the hereafter will become torture, and when the mercy of God does not take care of such a soul, this torture would be endless and yet so easy to avoid. Because faith alone puts the soul into the state that every step up can be taken without effort. All power is rooted in faith. Faith gives you a capacity which in turn puts you in a state of full and true recognition. So that work on earth as well as in the hereafter, will be a perpetual activity in love. And out of this activity you will one day be able to redeem yourselves and countless beings from the power of matter. You do not yet understand this. But times will come when the meaning of these words will be clear to you and you will try to fathom what it means with strong faith. And then you will have achieved great things and no power in the world will be able to dispute your knowledge, because you can do more than the wise of the world and give yourselves over to faith in things that seem mysterious to you in this time, you will soon feel the influence of a truly strong faith and thank the Lord from the bottom of your heart that he gave you the strength to believe. Just ask, and the Lord God is ready for you and choose everyone who believes in him, to be his warrior. And then you do not fight alone, but always with the Lord and therefore you are able to do everything. But when you become wavering in faith, you are in danger to deviate from the right way, therefore ask incessantly for strong, rock-solid faith, and place yourselves in the protection of God. For he who watches over you, will not let your faith be put to shame. Amen.